Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on January the 23rd, 2020. Greek government elects first female president. High Court judge and human rights advocate Katerina Sakelaropoulou has been elected Greek's first female president by parliament on Wednesday. Sakelaropoulou was nominated by the ruling conservative New Democracy Party but also managed to secure the backing of the main opposition party Syriza and the center-left movement for a change. Earlier, she was the first woman to serve as the president of the Council of State, the country's top administrative court. Sakelaropoulou held that position for 15 months until presidential election when she received support of 261. 1 p.m. in the 300-seat parliament. According to Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis, such result offers a window to the future with more optimistic enter into a new decade. Asian stocks fall led by a significant drop in China. Global stocks declined on Thursday, with Asian markets fell the most, led by biggest slide in Chinese shares in early eight months as investors became more concerned about the spread of a new coronavirus in China. Chinese shares slumped 3.04 percent, being on course for their biggest daily decline since May the 6th last year, when U.S. President Donald Trump threats of additional tariffs on Chinese goods. Hong Kong stocks also decreased, marking a 1.91 percent drop. MSCI's broadest index of Asia-Pacific shares outside Japan fell 1.07 percent, while Japan's Nikkei stock index slid 0.99 percent. Meantime, Eurostox 50 futures tumbled 0.4 percent, suggesting European shares are also heading into a rough trading session. U.S. stock future fell 0.2 percent on Thursday in Asia. Oil prices mark their seven-week low. Oil prices slipped to their lowest in seven weeks on Thursday, losing more than 1 percent amid concerns that the spread of respiratory virus from China may hit fuel demand in case of slowing economic growth, as it was nearly 20 years ago. London's Brent crude futures decreased 87 cents, or 1.4 percent, to $62.34 a barrel, while U.S. West Texas intermediate crude contracts dropped 94 cents, or 1.6 percent, to $55.80 a barrel. The new coronavirus has killed 17 people through respiratory illness since it emerged late last year in Wuhan, a city of 11 million people in central China. Nearly 600 cases have been confirmed, with some of them were detected in the United States, and city authorities have shut transport networks, urging residents not to live to prevent the contagion spreading. SS reports strong results in the fourth quarter. The UK online fashion retailer Asus PLC reported a strong growth in the fourth quarter driven by Black Friday sales despite a poor Christmas figures. The company said its group retail sales grew 20 percent on a constant currency basis in the last four months of 2019, surpassing analysts' forecast. Asus shares surged as much as 12 percent. Furthermore, retailers' total orders rose 20 percent at 27.7 million during the period. Chief Executive Officer Nick Baton stated that Asus is increasing its marketing in improving the design and availability of products and working more closely with social media influencers to lure shoppers. The company is also working to increase the number of customers using its website.